Hello everyone, Fluffy here. Well, as promised, the niece and I have been working the last couple of days on uh, some meal prep. Did not get everything accomplished that I had in my brain of the list that I wanted to do, uh, but we got quite a bit done. Uh, so um, editing took a really long time. I hope you enjoy it. Please keep in mind that uh, I'm not a professional uh, meal prepper and uh, batch cooker, uh, but I think what we put together, you'll really enjoy. So without further ado, here is our batch cooking.
Okay, everyone, we're back. Um, as you saw, we've got the pull pork underway, which is what the niece did. Uh, we had it on for 20 minutes and another 25 minutes because we checked it. Uh, it's got 12 minutes left to go, and then we'll take a look at it. Got about four minutes left on the jalapeno poppers, better known as rattlesnake bites here in Texas. They're in the oven, and we'll check them out after 50, what did I say? 30 minutes. 30? Three. We have three minutes left. What did I, what timer did I put on them? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes, okay. And uh, we have 30 minutes on the chicken wings, which is what she did. And the ones that had this fajita seasoning on here, y'all, I use this fajita seasoning for everything. That's mm -hmm. what she also sprinkled on the pulled pork. Uh, it is on my, my half of the chicken wings. And when it's done, we will remove it all. She'll take hers off. I will put the barbecue, we'll put the barbecue sauce on my half and we'll put them back in the oven to get sticky. It's the sugar-free barbecue sauce. That's it for now and we'll be back and we'll see what else we can accomplish after a while. So we'll see y'all soon. taco meat and all you have seen are magic hands throughout this whole video uh, we did a, a clip together not sure if we like it or not so I don't know if we'll add it in somewhere besides the intro uh, so I thought y'all love to watch me cook so I'm going to make my taco meat this is not I repeat this is not a uh, recipe video because you know I go by dump this dump that but I will tell you what I'm putting in there okay but since you don't have my salsa it is going to turn out different we are also going to be making chili out of this taco meat so I can make the big batch of taco meat and take some of it to make chili because the niece wants chili still having issues y'all so I'm gonna be gross and you know we may have to stop and start but uh, if you hear noise it's the dogs the, the niece we still have the poppers came out as you saw. The chicken wings are still cooking. We had to do another round of the Instapot because the pulled pork, I showed it to you, didn't pull like I wanted to, so it's in there for another 30 minutes. So that was 20, 25, and 30, 40, 50, an hour and 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes. So let's get started. I'm gonna cut all these up first. You know this uh, Asian grill, it cooks hotter. Then something you don't have to get, I think, too much too many times in the microwave for these knives, and I really need to get them sharpened. 
Huh? You said in the microwave. I know. Did I say microwave dishwasher? Too many times in the dishwasher. It's okay. Just leave them right there. What is what? What kind of onion did I pick? Fluff. What are you, what are you doing? Look, just cut it off. It's okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna give this a dice. Now the niece suggested that I get a hard cutting board, and I said no. This will be fine. It's sinking in. Yes, I know you also know stuff sometimes. Y'all, she's been great. Y'all have seen her little old magic hands connected to nobody. So I'll just let you know. She did the chicken wings. She did the pulled pork. Chicken wings and pulled pork so far. Uh, I did the jalapeno poppers. The acorn squash is in there. And to start out, I didn't know how to cook. And to start off, y'all, she didn't. She, home skillet did not know how to cook. Let me look. Since we both love onions, and we're going to dice them up, I'm going to do the whole onion. What? Yes, I'm going to do the whole flipping onion, okay? Yeah. So I hope you've liked the video so far. Uh, most of it's going to be voiced over. If not, you'll see us and me getting frustrated at the poor niece. Bless her heart. She's never videotaped before. I've only done this one other time, but not to this degree. So I apologize. What, two or three times? I'm sorry again if I didn't. It's so. okay. Kind of snappish at her, and it's just not fair. So we took a breather, and I've got it turned because I had it the uh, the camera the other way where she was looking at it from the other side, and no, I see this, and I see that, and why are you moving it? <laughs> gotta move it to get a good view. So I, I feel bad, and I'm looking like a busted can of biscuits, y'all. I put a little bell pepper in here. Uh, this one's looking a little sad. It's kind of getting kind of flimsy, so it really doesn't do well in a, uh, oh, God, there with the seeds. Oh, well. <laughs> she did something. I said, y'all, I said, uh, my peeps don't expect ex uh, perfection on my channel. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was, the, it was the cover of the meat that had the onion skin, so it was like cake and Oh, yeah. You need to warn me because I can't see it in the. Screen. Yeah, I'm looking. No, I don't want to gross anybody out. She's she's on. Y'all, I need new I need new knives. This is a fairly new set. Do you want me to get but, you my you know. favorite knife? Huh? Do you want me to get you my favorite knife? Oh, I'm losing half the bell peppers. Yeah, we can try yours. She's got a favorite knife. It's part of this set. I didn't I haven't seen it, and I don't think it's in the dishwasher. Yes, it is. Okay, much better. <laughs> this is already taking too long, in my opinion. Y'all, look, I'm losing all this bell pepper. Y'all better not eat the bell pepper. She is. Huh? She's, uh, the niece has never seen me use this. So, she's watching intently. Okay, so we're going to put a little corn oil. Because this is 85-15 lean. Any piece of bell pepper on the thing. Huh? Any piece of bell pepper, you don't want to miss any. On the black thing. I'm gonna miss any. Oh, oh. What? What the hell? Ah, here goes another solid, bell pepper. You weren't using a solid cutting board, you forgot. <laughs> Did you hear that? You weren't using like a solid one, like I asked. I have no idea where she gets her sarcasm from. I think it's a family trait, actually. It skipped a generation. You don't have that. I don't know where I got it from. Oh, that fried quick. Huh? That does hot. Quick. Yeah, it, it gets hot pretty quick, so you really have to adjust your... Um, Temperature? Yeah. <laughs> y'all, I've seen y'all use that star thing. That's what I need to get. 
Okay, so what we're going to put in. Yes, fajita seasoning. Ooh, for everything. Oh, my God, the mist did that. <laughs> it's too full, that's why. Okay, you know what? Oh, God, be careful. The ghosts want the chicken. <laughs> Garlic powder. Camino. You've got to watch the Camino because too much and you'll have chili. And I need a, I don't have that much left, so I'm going to save it for the chili chili. Oh, y'all hear that? I hope you do. Keep cooking them. Right. Yeah, we got a late start. We wanted to start early this morning, but you, us, you warriors know it takes us forever to get going. I uh, had a picture made of uh, my, uh, my favorite picture of the happy couple. My nephew uh, loved it. He said it was one of the best pictures we had taken. Uh, of them and uh, so I had it made into an 8x10 with a frame so we went and got my medicine I almost died when they told me $120 oh I didn't tell y'all while this is cooking more issues with my trulicity and I try to work it out they try to give me 84 days worth which they don't ever do that they give me four injections for 30 days or 28 days and that was $47. Y'all knew that. Well, uh, so imagine my surprise when they said 84 days for $300 and something dollars. Well, he said, I can give you a month's worth like you've been getting $120. So I called my insurance company and they, him hot around and said that I'm at some kind of gap or um, this gap or something. And for four months, I will have to pay $120. And then on the fifth month, it goes down to $8, even instead of the $47. So the next four months is going to be really, really, really tight, which this batch cooking will keep our butts out of the grocery store. Um, and we could eat more nutritious meals without eating crap. Some of it's low, crap, uh, low carb, but it's crap, you know? Or nothing with a lot of nutritional value. It's... You know, low-carb beef jerky sticks and cheese and all of that's good. But you, you, you need protein. You need, you know what I mean? So, we will not get this all done today. Uh, we will have to do again tomorrow because it's already late. And even if I do a part one or a part two, that's what I might do, y'all. I may end it and do a part two. And show you the end. Can you hear it? There's wash time right there. Notice this is a pants day today. There's no pants. <laughs> I wanted to, y'all. <laughs> but I didn't want to have to fuzz everything out, uh, you know, because you know how I tell you how I relax. At home, so. I just saw his bat ears above the couch. His satellite dishes. So now I know it looks like there's a lot of fat. It's that 15%. Of course, keto is high fat. Uh, but they probably mean healthier fats like olive oil and the avocado. MCT, the avocado oil, coconut oil. But as this cooks, it will... Did I lose any? It doesn't look like it. You caught it. Most of the time I do, y'all though. It will cook down and when the fat starts to go away so that you don't have dry meat, because I hate dry taco meat. Um...
it will go away and so you add the salsa to give it more flavor. <laughs> Minutes. For what? Chicken wings. Oh, God, at least 15. Right. Ow. Y'all, the oven is on 375, but the voice server. I haven't burnt anything yet, so you're a good teacher, too. I'm going to turn this up a little bit to try to cook off some of that fat. There's a lot of juice in here, too. There's not a whole lot of fat. I, I don't know if it looks like it from there, but most of it is juice. But turning up the heat will... I'll probably steam the acorn squash in the Instapot. Steam it? Uh-huh. What for? To cook it for the spaghetti squash. Instead of putting it in the oven. You said steam the acorn squash. Oh, acorn squash is in the oven. I'm telling you, I'm tired. Get off my back. <laughs> Do you feel that? I feel it's a big monkey on my back. See how it's already starting to go away? But you see how it's getting more fluffy because you're frying it as this juice goes away. All right, now, because most of it's gone and I don't want it to get too dry now, and the meat is all cooked, the onions are cooked, the bell peppers are cooked. My salsa, y'all, I got these online and it's the real thick ones and they were really cheap, 20 for like $12 or something. I got it off walmart.com. It's the freeze right. I put maybe half a cup in here. I got a little bit left for the top of the tacos. You just mix it in. See how it's looking? You get the tomato flavor in there, the, to the flavor of the salsa. Now, I know somebody said they were going to uh, try to put their salsa in there. Try to find a not so sweet salsa because then you'll have sweet taco meat. That's why jarred salsas are so high in carbs. All right, here you go, niece. Mm -hmm. There's my taco meat. There you go, here. Just, no, grab the whole spoon, we're done. Oh, thank goodness. I was like, I can't hold it with my hand, my big baby. Okay, now the juice you see is from the salsa. And so by the time this cools off so we can put it into containers, that juice will be absorbed back up into the meat. Good, right? Mm. Okay. Good? Okay, mm -hmm. that's it, y'all. Uh, back to more batch cooking, or we will stop and do some more. We'll just package it up and then in big containers, and then tomorrow we'll put them in um, the containers. After you put the last piece in your mouth, will you get the two sets of containers so I can show That's them? That's what I was going to do. Okay. It goes in the center. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Oh. Sure. Didn't have to. I just wanted them to see them. Here is one. Okay, these are the ones I got off the internet. Okay. Ouch. You okay? No, I just burned myself. Oh, Ooh. where'd you go? Where'd you go? There we go. The three cavity ones. I think it said like a total of 27 ounces with the kind of clear lids. Trade your kid. I got these at Walmart today. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen of them for $9.99. It is the solid cavity ones. We're gonna do the salads in here for one, or if we're gonna do like her chili, and we're not, she's not gonna have the chili with it. Excuse me, anything else? Then we would put it in here. All right, that's it for now. And oh, these are really even more clear. So that's kind of, I kind of like that. That's kind of more neat, less milky. All right, y'all. We'll see you either tomorrow or real soon. Talk to y'all soon. Bye. Hello everyone, Fluffy here. Well, it is day two of our um, meal batch cooking, a meal prep video. Um, we didn't start until about 7 p.m. yesterday. Uh, so, and we worked till about 10.30 
or so and I just had to holler uncle I was tired the niece was tired and so we decided to drift into a second day didn't really make a whole lot of side dishes which will I'll be doing that in the next few videos the niece is still asleep I just woke her up because it's about noonish here uh, so I only got four hours worth of sleep last night, but by golly, I'm still going. Drink a lot of coffee today, but I'm still going. Um, so I did uh, cook taco meat in front of y'all like I usually do with my cooking mukbang. Uh, I will probably edit some of that out because that segment alone was 20 minutes. Uh, so I'm not sure if I will do a part one or a part two and break it up into two videos. It depends on what the overall time of this video is and what the footage looks like uh, uh, will determine whether or not it'll be a two-part video. Um, editing is going to take a long time. It is Tuesday uh, right now and so I'm hoping that uh, I can edit everything tonight because the next two days uh, the niece has appointments. So uh, that take getting out and about it takes a lot out of me and I think that's why we didn't we started so late yesterday because uh, we did shopping. I had to pick up that expensive medication and we picked up a few more things for this uh, cooking video. And um, then we went by my nephew who just got married. I blew up a beautiful photograph of them that I took and the nephew just loved it. He said it was his favorite uh, photo. If I remember, because I already gave me permission, I'll put it in right here real quick. I, I love it. It's just so them. Uh, if not, well, maybe I'll show you it in a live or in a future video. <sighs> With that said, I hear the niece stirring around, so we'll get started, but I'm going to get a jump on things. Uh, the next uh, few things are going to be easy. It's going to be microwaving some frozen veggies as side dishes, so let's get started, okay?
All right, what we're making here is uh, fried cabbage. I've eaten it before. I've never made it before. So we're gonna try this. And I'm, I'm gonna do a whole head of cabbage, so that's why I have to have this pan. So we'll get this oil going. I already know what I forgot. Mm. So, yeah. Tongs. I prefer the uh, rubber tongs, the white rubber tongs. And an onion. Look, I thought I had everything, y'all. That's good enough on the onion front, y'all. What do you think? Should I do another onion? You think I should put a whole onion in this? We like onions, so yeah. Okay, that's a bad part, so. And I'm not going to clean off the knife when I start cutting the cabbage. And why? Because I'm not worried about cross-contamination because all the cabbage is going to be cooked with everything. So it's not like I'm going to put it back in the fridge. Make sense? Makes sense. Are you happy? No? Oh, I can't help you. all kinds of bell pepper under <laughs> underneath this the last night <laughs> why are you taking those leaves off because it's all dirty and stuff and people have handled it and It's going to be hard because I'm really sore, but we're going to give it a go. Y'all saw the cut of it. I'm going to have to really get stand up to do this. So um, I'll be back. All right, y'all. I came out at a different angle as soon as I hung up. Look. What the hell was I doing before? We don't know, Fluffy. I don't know either. Ah, uh, now, uh, Mr. Kaka, y'all, he's back to Mr. Kaka. My sister came to see me. The niece's mother came to visit with us. And, uh, 
They were leaving, and yeah, they found a gift at the front door, and they were out twice this morning. I'm telling you, it's just a shitty situation all around. Put on. Ha <laughs> ha! So it doesn't matter if you use the. Oh, okay, that answered my question. Okay, I don't have room to cut the rest of it, so I will cut the rest when I put the first half in here. That just smells good. All right. Seasonings. We can put it in now. Garlic powder. Just a smidge. Salt. Watch your salt. You can always season later because the... Let's just say corn. The bake... I saw a can of corn in there, y'all, and I can't have it. That's <laughs> got to be what it is. Black pepper. And I may have to put more of this on here. And, surprise, some cayenne pepper. Just a little bit. It will go a long way. She's excited about this chicken, y'all. I'm so excited I burnt the tip of my thumb. <laughs> Come on. You want to kind of get them crisping up before you add. You want that bacon to render all its grease to help you fry all the cabbage. So, Fluff, if you leave it alone. <laughs> I know I tell Denise all the time, leave it alone! <laughs> and as a Fluffy, uh, follow her own advice, no. At least you have a solid cutting board now. You hear her? Yes, you were correct. The solid cutting board works better. And now that I think about it, I don't know why it worked before, y'all. I don't know. Maybe I have to press down harder because the knives are duller and I'm not as strong. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember using... Oh, I used the wooden one, and that's solid. Good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and let's put the bigger pieces in there first. The bigger chunks. They'll come apart as we stir. It seems like a lot, but anybody that's cooked cabbage knows this stuff cooks down like any other lettuce or leafy vegetable that you cook. So that's why I was only going to do half, and I'm thinking, no, because that's only going to be half of a half by the time it cooks down. So to heck with it, we will go ahead and do all of it. I hate peeling it, but I don't know who's been touching it, you know? I'm going to have a whole salad on the floor, y'all. <laughs> Cabbage to go with the bell, uh, bell pepper. No, I think we picked up the bell pepper. I, I, couldn't be, I couldn't guarantee, but I believe we did. 
And even if we didn't, we did. We were so tired, y'all. I stayed up till 3 o'clock in the morning. The niece was exhausted, so I stayed up so that the food could cool off so I could put it in the fridge. So we probably missed some down there, but it's my house. I can have bell peppers on the floor if I want. Thanks, love, I don't know. I'm tired, y'all. I'm not spin it. It's a hostile environment. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can I get an oven it for a space? Yeah, I'll probably do. Thank you. See how it's already collapsing, y'all? Thank you. now know how much seasoning to put in something to be able to taste it before I'd be like one shake of salt or one shake of pepper. Tell how good I did with the full food. Everything's turning out so good so yeah. far. I can't wait to try that. Y'all, you know, it's the biggest pan I got. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It needs to hurry up and collapse already. Okay, once you think pretty much all of it has had a turn in the bottom of the pan, you see the, um, it's already starting to crisp up a little bit as well. Now, there's brown bits at the bottom because of the bacon and all of that. So what you do, one last ingredient, couple of turns and then you close it. Look, that's all hanging off. I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. All right, we're going to let this cook a little bit. I might stir it a couple of times before we get back and I will show you the finished product, okay? See you in a minute. Here is the finished product. Um, why don't you take it off and let me get closer? There you go. I just took an act of God to get that stuff on there. Oh, not so close on me. Ooh. Look at that, y'all. This is not my normal close-up, but look at that. I'm not a fan of Amber Rell, but what does she say? Brown food tastes good. So, excellent side dish. It'll go with anything that we did. So, Another done down. I don't know what's next. Uh, I think it's time to check the spaghetti squash and we'll get back to you.
two days of cooking and multiple hours, we finally have the meal prep done. It took us two days because it was a lot of work constantly in the kitchen, making everything taste good. So let me show you what we have here. We have 18 meals prepped and everything else, and they're really good. We're gonna put some in the freezer and some we're gonna use in the microwave to make it easier on us. We have six cream cheese chickens, and we have fried cabbage, Brussels sprouts, butternut squash, and broccoli. Next, we have four pulled pork meals with cream cheese jalapenos, or cream cheese poppers, spaghetti squash, and broccoli with fried cabbage. Next, we have four meals of pre-made tacos. We're gonna add the tortillas later, the low-carb tortillas. We have the jalapeno poppers again, the fried cabbage, and the acorn squash. Next, we have the chicken wings. She has hers as fajita seasoned chicken wings with barbecue sauce. She's not gonna have anything with them in the, in the box, but she says she's gonna have a little bit of low-carb bread with them. With me, I have the mango habanero chicken and the acorn squash. I kinda need a little bit of them, so I put it in there to not be so noticeable. Next, we have the pre-made taco salads. We put the taco meat in a Ziploc bag, double bagged, of course, so that it doesn't bleed out. And we have them in there so that it's able to get heated up without wilting the salad. So once we heat that up, we're gonna put it on top of the salad and add our dressings and everything else. Here, we have the leftovers from the meals until we have more containers so that we can put them in there. This is the barbecue pulled pork, the fried cabbage, and the spaghetti squash. So, thank you guys for tuning in, watching us, and being with us through our first meal prep. I felt really proud of her and really proud of myself because we were able to make a lot of meals in two days. And I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, God bless y'all. Positive vibes up to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind and be your own advocate. Love y'all. Bye.